In this video I want to demonstrate the new Garage Hive Power BI dashboard. Um, so previously we've been using uh, what's called Power BI reports. A dashboard is a combination of several reports on a single page. So now when you open the Power BI app, instead of going straight to the menu, you're going to be presented with what's now called the dashboard. So if we just look at the data on the dashboard, it's a very high level view of today's sales and GP, this week's sales and GP, and this month's sales and GP. You can see the bookings coming up for the next 14 days, split between MOTs, services, and total number of bookings. You can see your ongoing NPS score. You can see your average values um, over months, so your average invoice value, your average invoice profit. The current status of the WIP in the business, so what's ready for collection, etc. Um, and your current stock value, so just some very high level stuff to keep your eye on. Then what you can do from this screen is if you click on one of these elements, it will take you through to the report that you're used to, um, which is essentially a pinned element from one of these reports is what's pinned to the dashboard. Um, what we've also got that's new, um, the, ho the home menu uh, looks slightly different. Um, we've removed this information from the left hand side and spread these buttons out because they were getting a bit cramped. Um, and we've also added an online booking analysis report. So if we just take a look at this. What you can see here are the confirmed bookings and the abandoned bookings. So you can actually see how frequently customers are going to your uh, booking widget. Uh, selecting a service but not completing the booking so it's really good data to understand what your conversion rate is um, and now you can actually split out and actually see which services were abandoned and which ones are actually confirmed so for example I can see that we've had 132 MOTs confirmed and 71 abandoned so really good data to understand you know is it a pricing issue or is your website not um, portraying your value good enough Another update that we've made is to the vehicle analysis. So now you can see the bar chart, essentially a pattern of what your most visited year is, um, or your most frequent year of vehicle, uh, sorry. And this can obviously be filtered by make. So if I select Fords, then we can see um, what the most common year for Ford is across our garages. So I hope that helps. Um, just to reiterate, when you open the app, you're going to go through to this dashboard. This dashboard also looks really nice um, on your phone. This is the one that you will open to um, when you open the app on your phone as well. Uh, but you can still gain access to the old menu on the left hand side here. So I hope that I hope you find that um, good and useful. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you.